Do Kwon, the biggest fugitive in the crypto world, was just arrested trying to flee the country of Montenegro with a false Costa Rican passport. This is a shocking turn of events for someone who was once seen as the golden boy of crypto that people looked up to, and less than two years later he's arrested trying to flee the country to avoid being prosecuted for his crimes. Now, how we got to this point is an interesting cautionary tale. In 2018, Do Kwon founded the company Terraform Labs, which in turn launched two cryptocurrency coins. The first coin was TerraUSD, which was a stable coin, meaning that the price of one TerraUSD is always supposed to be at $1. It exists for people to safely store their crypto gains in a coin that never changes prices during rough times in the crypto market. If the price of Bitcoin suddenly starts dropping, you exchange it into TerraUSD and the price is stable, at least that was the theory. Unfortunately for those who trusted in Terra, the coin unpegged from the dollar in May of 2022, and ultimately billions of dollars were lost by those who had put their money into the coin, believing it was safe. Following the collapse of Terra USD and its sister coin Terra Luna, Do Kwon became one of the most hated men in crypto, with people around the world calling him a criminal and wanting him to be locked up for life. In late 2022, the South Korean government issued a warrant for his arrest, but that didn't seem to phase Do Kwon, who joked about it, and even joined a live stream with Martin Scarelli, where Martin made jokes about him going to jail and Do Kwon just laughing it off. Hey Do, um, I just wanted to let you know, jail's not that bad. It's, um, <laughs> it's, always, it's, it's not the worst thing ever, <laughs> you know, so don't, don't fret if that, I hope it doesn't, doesn't happen, but if it does happen, it's, it's not that bad. Good to know. <laughs> I mean, you despite Do Kwon pretending this was not a big deal, and even saying on Twitter that he wasn't on the run or anything similar, the exact opposite seems to be the case, according to Interpol and South Korean authorities. Do Kwon had been living in Singapore in early 2022, and right before Korean authorities issued warrants for his arrest in September, he fled to the United Arab Emirates before eventually making his way to Serbia, according to police. During his time in hiding, according to his friends, he was delusional to the point of believing he could create a new cryptocurrency coin, make it one of the most valuable in the world, and clear his name from the stink of Terra Luna. Unfortunately for Do Kwon, the authorities had not forgotten about him, and in February, the Securities and Exchange Commission charged him with orchestrating a multi-billion dollar securities fraud. With the walls closing in and realizing the authorities would eventually find him, Do got desperate. Kwan and Terraforma Lab CFO Han Shang Jun traveled from Serbia to Montenegro and attempted to board a private plane to the United Arab Emirates, but were arrested after presenting forged Costa Rican passports to authorities at the airport. A day later, after their fingerprints matched with South Korean records, they were paraded outside for news outlets to be able to snap pictures of the men in custody. Now, what's really odd about all this is that it's believed that Do Kwon funneled millions of dollars out of Terra Luna before it collapsed for his personal use. He was able to live off that money while on the run and afford private plane rides and expensive hotels, yet he wasn't able to afford a convincing passport to smuggle himself out of the country when the walls started to close in. It shows how desperate the guy had become and how far he had fallen from just a year ago when he was tweeting that he doesn't debate the poor to anyone who questioned his crypto company. The arrogant attitude and the loss of billions by those who believed in him has led to overwhelming support for his arrest and downfall online. From this point, there is now a legal battle as to which country he will be extradited to. The authorities in Montenegro have said they will extradite him, and South Korea, who issued an arrest for warrant for him first, believe they should get him. However, the SEC filed civil charges against him in the past, and the day of his arrest, federal prosecutors in the Southern District of New York charged Mr. Kwan with eight counts of fraud, and if convicted of those crimes, would face a lifetime behind bars. The entire time leading up to his arrest, Do Kwon had claimed the charges against him were bogus and presented himself as an upstanding crypto creator. After the collapse of FTX in November of last year, Do posted the tweet, what's done in darkness will come to light, calling out Sam Bankman Freed for his scam of a company, but unaware that his time in the light was just a few months away. Over the past few weeks, governments around the world, spearheaded by the US, have launched multiple civil and criminal charges against many crypto platforms and promoters of crypto coins, with some of the biggest celebrities like Jake Paul 
and Lindsay Lohan now having to pay hundreds of thousands in fines. And Coinbase, the largest and most trusted crypto platform in the US, is now apparently being investigated for fraudulent behavior as well. As someone who has been watching crypto since 2017 and saw these scams for years, including the first one I ever covered, BitConnect, which took hundreds of millions from those who invested in the coin, it's nice to see these scammers finally being brought to justice. I do believe that cryptocurrency and more importantly, the technology behind it, blockchain has a part to play in the future, but the scammers and degenerates who invest in the space and use it for their personal gain to screw over the people who invested with them need to be brought to justice. Hopefully with many of these scammers now facing both civil and criminal charges, those who would hope to scam people in the space in the future will think twice about doing so now.